Yeah. Heck, man. American pickers ain't got nothing on me, man. Cheers, you beautiful young lady. Oh, my fellow junkers, resellers, dumpster divers. Thrifties. Damn scavengers. <laughs> Trash pickers. All right, get back, dude. They gone hit something. Drives nuts. All right, so uh, I haven't started editing. We actually did a go, go lay down. Started doing a video yesterday that uh, uh, go lay down, dude. Go. Dude. <laughs> no, man, dude. He's got cabin fever. He's losing his mind. <laughs> But anyway, I started doing a video, or we did a video out, um, got out of this place, took off, and I'm about ready to leave again, because of the snow and everything, and we went down and hit a couple thrift stores, and I did do a little filming in that, but it wasn't all we could, you know, always score a couple of things, but it was pretty slim pickings, but it was nice to get the heck out, man. Yeah, um, so I'm going to sell this, what we sold Actually, what's cool, man, is we're out, you know, because we hit Biomart and, you know, getting some supplies and the junk shops, and this is the stuff that we sold while we're out there, man. I love when we're out uh, right. wheeling and dealing and selling stuff, and you're out shopping, you know, man, it's Yeah, and he did that cool. sell, and three of these items were... Oh, yeah, and that 50% off on that dusty sale. Yeah, the dusty sale. Alabama Pickers. Yep, Alabama Pickers. So, uh... So I'm just going to go over a few of these things. I don't know if I'm going to attach this to the end of that thrift store video or if this is going to be its own video. And then we have, I'm going to do this video, and then I have uh, about 35 minutes to get to another. I got a place that I was An told. Appointment. Uh, yeah, appointment to go look at some more junk. So I might take you along on that one too. I don't know. All right, so let's check this stuff out. So we have a rifle stock, Rocky Mountain Elk Foundation, the Grand Oregon chapter. It's a gun. Man, I almost kept it, but it's pretty dang nice. It is a nice and it sold for $24.31 shipped. Talk about easy to ship. Yeah. And then this, um, obviously, like I've talked about, man, the one-up things and stuff. This is something you're not going to find a whole ton of them. But this is a... <laughs> sash beauty pageant sash yes and uh i actually had it on originally man i had it listed for 200 bucks because it's just there's no you know obviously no competition for it i put it on the half off sale and then somebody offered me 75 bucks so i ended up taking that so we got a vintage embroidery luxury satin pageant sash beauty queen colorado city 1967 and it sold for 85 dollars and 92 cents shipped. So that was a pretty good one. Yep. And this, this, this was on the sale too. Got a uh, vintage cast iron wreath, 1940s. That's pretty cool, pretty heavy duty. And it was on the half off sale. They ended up selling this for $28 and 46 cents shipped. That's strange, maybe it's because that sash the best offer because it doesn't show that it was on the sale. Oh, I know it was. I remember doing oh, it. Remember yeah. doing it? So I guess when you take an offer, it doesn't give you the notification. I don't know what. Man, it's somebody. changing all the time on there. Four things. Yep. All right, huh? Oh, I had said three things sold on sale. So it's four no, all, really? Then we have a vintage beet harvest garden knife from old Idaho Mountain Farm. Now look at that. Show that tip. Yeah, the tip. It's for beets, sugar beets. Sugar beets. And it sold for forty-two dollars and sixty-five cents. Shipped. That's what we had to look for because I actually had this hanging out in my. It's kind of dusty on the back. Had it hanging out in my shop there. That was a couple years ago. This yeah. has been on for a while. Yeah, you, I guess you said, but I listed this almost one year ago to the date it sold. Yeah. Yeah. It sold, I listed it January 4th, 2020, and it sold on January 4th, 2021. Yes. So one year this thing was on there. There's a bunch of other ones you can find them, but it's a vintage, no-dump 
picking old stuff, metal sign, antiques, junk, treasures, collectibles, and it sold for $20.92 shipped. Man, this thing, man, almost sold instantly. I put it on and bam. And the same person bought the um, sign as the elephant. Oh, that one sold to a combo. Um, yeah. I, I'm going to have to look at it. Because oh, because this the, would kind of, yeah, the, the sign. Shape, right, the shape, okay. could cause a problem. But this was on for just hours. So we, well, actually, I guess I'd put it on the night before and then it sold when we were right. down. No, I actually listened to yesterday morning. 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 <laughs> yeah, and it sold morning. when we were out junking. So this we got a vintage solid brass elephant ring holder, rhinestone eyes. It's so cute. <laughs> um, unique and beautiful. Sold for $31. Man, it's a heavy little motor. Yeah, it has nice weight. Yep. 30, $31.64 shipped. You can stack a lot of rings on that. Yes, you too. could. And then we have, this one's pretty cool. And I, I uh, this was on the half off thing. Um... It's pretty cool. Didn't, not something I'd really, well, I guess I kind of put it up. I don't know. Anyway, man, ended up almost giving this one away, but that's okay. That's all right. Vintage hand carved wood, gothic bearded man with sword, very unique, 12 inches tall. And sold for $25.69 or $29. Shipped. I liked his tough. tuft of hair. Yeah, <laughs> I think you, that's when it, your hair is like that, you just shave it off. Just shave it off. You had a tough knot. And then we have a 1970 Union Pacific operating manual, all EMD lock locomotives, passenger, and freight. And it sold for, books don't sell, <laughs> it sold for $30 shipped. So that was it. So that was pretty good, man, when you're out there junking and doing that stuff. Oh, this one says sold with say, or, uh, so? promotion. Yeah, maybe that... Maybe I'd lowered that sash. I might have lowered that a couple days ago or something. I don't know. So, but it doesn't say the promoted sales. So. No, it does not. All right, so man, that was the uh, so that was why we were out junking, you know, yesterday. So that was pretty. Didn't get rich, man. But actually, uh, made more money than I spent. That, well, not on groceries, but on uh, junk because we didn't get a ton of stuff. I think I'm going to do, we're getting ready to go out, like I said, I'm getting ready to go out and warm up the van, um, and we're going to go out and do a little more junking today, and then I think I might, we'll see what we get, man, let's pull out, some, show some of the do stuff it, we got yesterday, we yeah, yeah, what we, we found, found video, but, and see, that's gotten kind of screwed up, because I've showed some stuff out there, out there. we have that pile, right? but maybe on the stuff, because it's still in the van, and then uh, anything, we might, get anything we might get today, so I might, you know, yeah. the sun's out today, so man, I might even be able to do over. it. Is it okay? Yeah. So other than that, man, uh, uh, I don't know what the heck. If you out there, well, you're going that far right now. Oh. <laughs> so uh, they catch him at the door with you. <laughs> Sorry, man. Somebody gave him the door, dude. <laughs> So it happens when you're in the middle of these, man. And you, I, I need one of those. Uh, I need one on. of those lights on air. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I might get one. I might make one of those, man. So anyway, man. Um, so we're gonna do probably do what we found video. Hopefully, we'll see what today brings, man. It's crazy, crazy stuff, man. Um, yeah, just you can go over to Idaho Hillbilly channel and see that, man. I'm going to be talking about, man, the kid's car broke down the flatland, coming back from the flatlands last night and midnight. What? Yeah, it kept us up a little bit too long. Yeah, so, man, so not only that, and I'm trying to drink coffee, and I got this appointment I got to be at. and So I got to get after it. We'll be doing that. Oh, check out the Instagram. been doing putting a lot of, check out Mountain Junkers Instagram. The link's down below. I'm really loving the find Instagram. find yourself a... Nice sweatshirt, man. Yes, Junkers on the sweatshirt. links below, too. Yeah, oh, yeah, got Mountain Junkers. Great way to support so, yeah, the Yeah, so you can check those out below, too. Check out the eBay store, the Bonanza store. Um, yeah, hopefully, Etsy soon. I keep, man, dude, I miss Etsy. I like you Etsy. Do? You don't? <laughs> Well, yeah, when you're when you've got multiple so many, places, yeah, it's true. Um, it's a lot of work. It is because it's all you know, and then you're selling stuff, man, off the side, out the back right. door, under the table. Right. <laughs> well, and the, one of the things with Bonanza is that it's a direct link to yeah, so that's the pretty, eBay store. That's so nice. wherever it sold, it gets deleted. Yeah, and they all get taken off. Yeah, that right. makes it nice. Right. Oh yeah, I don't want to really be doing no cross. Right, where, where Etsy, it doesn't. You have to. Oh yeah, and then I'm gonna be. 
over at Idaho Bill, Idaho Hillbilly. If you're new to our channel, welcome to our channel. Um, we also have one Idaho Hillbilly where we just show kind of our homesteading, semi-off-grid lifestyle. And that's where I do some blacksmithing videos and mm -hmm. stuff too. So uh, we're working on getting the forge set back up and going to be pounding out some knives. And then I'm going to put uh, a couple on eBay, probably up for auction in the near future. Other than that, man, that's all I got. <laughs> Dude, I got to go make, I got to go warm my van up, man. It's cold out there. So remember, keep your eye on the skyline and your nose to the wind. And if you're out there treasure hunting, hope you find some color in the bottom of your pan. See ya.